So now let's go up to lightweight because there's more conversation at lightweight. And I think the main topic we obviously have to have discussion about, which is Tiafimo losing. My biggest thing about this is that number one, I think that Tio still is a talented boxer. I think he is a talented boxer. I think now we've seen now a fight where when things get difficult, what happens? That's always my biggest question with guys, especially depending on their quarter, right? And during my Lomachenko fight prediction, I actually said, you know, we're going to see what happens with him, but also his corner when things get interesting. Now, granted, Tio stored away a bunch of rounds in the Loma fight, and I think that helped him in his corner stay really cool, calm, and collected. We got to see in this fight what happens when he doesn't have a bunch of rounds stored away. What's going to happen now? What does that mean? And honestly, I think the biggest part of Teal that got exposed is not that he's not a good boxer. He is a good boxer. He can have he can be rusty. He does I definitely think that him taking so much time off, Triller doing that whole deal with Triller was a nightmare. I think what this exposed though is he did not look ready for Cambosis. George went out there and Tio went out there and Tio tried to get him out in the first round. We saw that. We saw him kind of rush try to get that easy stoppage in the first round. Let his emotions kind of take over a little bit. Then he got knocked down. And the confidence started to slide. And George, to his credit, really stayed very consistent in this fight. He didn't push his work too hard. He didn't overextend himself. He fought really smart in this fight. Much smarter than I would have given him credit for before, before the fight started. Honestly, I was like, oh, this should be a good, this should be an easy fight for T.O., but you never, you never know. This year we've had some big upsets. I was surprised like everyone else that T.O. lost. I think it exposed that he might have issues in terms of being focused. His corner had issues. His dad yelling at him, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, and then immediately contradicting himself saying, you got to get this guy out of here. And it's like, you're giving really mixed signals in the corner. And if you guys know me, I like really simple corner instructions. Keep it simple. Because if you're throwing a bunch of things at, especially young guys, you don't get a clear communication flow going with them and they don't execute. That's something I saw that happen. The other part that tells me there's issues outside of the ring for Tio is... His total vibe on social media changed. He went from being kind of like talking tough and kind of showing himself training, especially on like Twitter and stuff like that. It was always like him doing training videos, right? And I was like, wow, this guy looks huge for lightweight. And now it turned into him quoting Gandhi. It's like he went from like just being all business and like talking trash to just quoting and being like be who you really are his comment section for all his tweets were literally like dude when are you gonna fight like people don't want to listen to you pontificate about the the universe they want you to fight that tells me he might have gotten a little bit full of himself and i think him and his dad both felt like we beat loma we are at the top of the mountain we've done it we need all this money we need all this respect we're on pound for pound lists. And rightfully so, they felt like they're untouchable for a little bit. This goes to show you just can't, you just can't do that. You can't do that. Now there's obvious delusion going on here. Because senior and junior both said that they are a hundred percent sure that Tio won that fight. If you watch that fight, it's obvious that Tio won that fight. And what I have to say is the first thing that people say is let's let's get let's get Tio a new trainer he needs to get away from his father he needs to get away from his father immediately and get a different trainer and I think the biggest thing I'm I'm just going to be honest with you, it's not going to happen and I know it's not going to happen because he posted this now Part of it, I get. Like, look, 
it's it's your dad. Like, how are you going to just leave him after these years? All that stuff like that. I I get that, and and that's not easy. The comments of this were basically like, does anyone want to tell Tio that the wheels have fallen off right now? Devin Haney is still coached by his dad, but there doesn't seem to be the same level. Lomachenko is trained by his dad, but his dad doesn't say almost anything, which is nice. Um, We've seen this whole father-son pairing before. And then the thing that really didn't help is afterwards, I see this. They're moving up to 140, and they're going against Josh Taylor. I'm just going to put this out there. If you couldn't beat Cambosis, you're not even going to be able to deal with, not even remotely deal with Josh Taylor. Regardless of the fact that Josh Taylor is going up to welterweight. We already know that that's his game plan. You can't handle George Cambosis. You're not going to be able to handle, I mean, Regis Prograce is going to murk you. Like, there's no question in my mind. Regis Prograce is going to handle you easily. There are some good 140 pounders. And if you think you're just going to beef up a little bit and you're going to be able to start dealing with that power, they they get big at 140. They start getting big at 140. It, no way. Jose Ramirez, don't forget, Jose Ramirez did pretty well against Josh Taylor at the beginning. Regis Progre did very well in, throughout the entire fight against Josh Taylor. And you think you're going to be able to beat either one of them, let alone Josh Taylor? There's no way, man. I'm sorry. We're not, this is La La Land kind of crap. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. In terms of injury, how many people in the chat were talking about Tio being injured? Oh, well, he had a shoulder injury before the fight. Well, he had a shoulder injury before the fight. It's so interesting to me that Tio fans and people are saying that about Tio. When literally those exact same people were saying Lomachenko is making excuses. So that's my thought with Tio. Has he been exposed? Has Tio been exposed? Let's, I don't think Tio has been exposed as a fighter. He is a solid fighter. He has real skill. He has real talent. I think we've seen that he's been exposed in the sense that maybe his corner isn't as solid as we thought with his dad. Maybe his focus isn't as spot on as it needs to be not absolutely completely focused all the time on doing his job he now has to really go backwards because he's not going to get a big title fight there's no value in him anymore you're not going to get a josh taylor fight 